Hello, this is Becca with Amazing Paper Grace, and today I have a Becca bit. Now, recently on my blog, I made a project where I used a little box like this one, and a lot of people asked me how I did it, so I thought I'd show you that today. Now, this particular box is three inches by four and a half inches, and it was made specifically to hold these little badge holders because they made a little book. So I wanted to show you how to do that and we'll get started. First of all you're going to start out with a 12 by 12 inch sheet of paper and you'll cut it in half. So after you cut it in half you'll have six inches left. We're going to do a series of scores. Don't get too caught up in the scores because at the end I'll show you a picture showing the dimensions again. Okay, so the first score I'm going to make is at one inch from the left hand side. The second score is going to be an inch and a half from the left hand side. And then I'm going to move over three more inches. My next score will be at four and a half. And then moving over a half inch more, my next score will be at five. All right, and then we're gonna turn our paper and it's okay if it's more than 12 inches, it's not a big deal. The next score that we're going to make is at four and a half inches from the left hand side. The next score will be at five inches. Following down, the next score will be at nine and a half inches, and the last score will be at 10. And I'm gonna call this end of the paper the flap side because this is where our flap is gonna be. So if you'll take your scissors, here's how we're gonna cut. With the flap side of the box closest to us, I'm gonna move into the second score line and I'm gonna begin to cut. And I'm going to cut until there are no more intersecting lines. So this is my last intersecting line right here. I will cut to that line. And then from the outside, I'm going to cut in to meet. Okay, so that's one. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to move to the second scored line from the outside of the box. And we're going to cut straight up. And then we'll cut over from the inside. That's it. So this is the basic box. It only now needs to be scored and taped. So let's go ahead and score it. Just a quick score. and one more score. Now before you do anything else what I recommend is rounding these corners. So I'm going to take my corner rounder and round here, around here, and then it makes it very pretty when you look inside the box to have these two corners rounded as well. Okay, now this is the base of the box and as I mentioned this is the flap of the box. For the, for the person who's reaching inside the box, it's very nice to have a cutout here. Now, on my made box, what I did was I used one of my spell binders to make a nice cutout here. You can use any number of spell binders or you can use a punch to do that. So, for the sake of time, I have a punch right here. I'm using my two inch round punch, just moving it in halfway and now I have a cutout where the opening of the box is going to be. So our next step is just tape. You only need two lines of tape and so I will put a line of tape right here and then I will put another line of tape right here it is on the first score in from the edge. Just trim those very quickly. 
And then I'll peel those off. And we can glue the box together. Like so. Tucking that to the inside. Like so. And the last thing that I did, your box is really ready to go as it is, but I like for there to be a little bit of a longer, um, a longer flap. Remember, we used a 12 inch piece of paper, and so you, you can't really go very much bigger than that, but I've used um, my Spellbinders um, die just to make a nice lid. I cut it as is, scored it where the curve was, and then just adhered it to the flap, and it makes for a nice flap. And then, of course, I added a bow. So, um, I will have a picture of the dimensions so that you can make your own. Good luck with the project. It's a very quick and easy box. And thanks for visiting Amazing Paper Grace.